Hi, hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to Nocturne. Today we have people moving in. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 4.30 p.m. this happy Wednesday. Oh, it so is not. That time's so off. May 31st, 2023. It's actually only almost four. So I gotta fix this time somehow. For the day's nukes. Nocturne gained a new neighbor today. Benjamin! If you happen to see him, please give him a warm welcome. Alright, it's time for our final announcement of the day. For all you DIY-loving island residents out there, I have a very special announcement. DIY veterans can now take part in a special customization workshop I'm hosting. Yes. Learning how to customize will help you change up the look of your DIY projects you create. Hmm. I have no doubt it will broaden your creative expertise. I'll conduct this DIY workshop inside resident services. Curious crafters should stop by. That's all for me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. I got mail. Happy home. Hi, Ken. Congratulations. To celebrate the new addition to your home, please accept this small gift. You'll need convenient electronic appliances for your upgraded home. Happy Home Academy. Present. I love me some presents. Automatic washer. So laundry day stuff. Look, I didn't even have to pay for an extra pack. Oh, it's a pink one. Oh. I could put that on the table. That would make more sim simps. Sense. Make more simps. Dream house. I got the second one. Single occupant beginner. Okay. Good things in store. The second one. Partially obscured talent. Thank you. I think most people's talents feel partially obscured. Money! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Morning beach cleanup. Hot item. Shell partition. I have that recipe. Wonder if it's worth it. Probably not. Are you having fun with the fountain? That's good. And I don't have to do the flowers. Maybe that'll help. So I don't run on those. There we go. I love that the sound changes to rain hitting a tin roof. Good detail. Fun with fences. You can have a wonderful yard in no time by building a fence and surrounding your home or garden. Yes, yes. Nook Inc. will award Nook Miles to skilled fence installers. Fencers. Efficient partitioner. Bottle. To my faraway reader, I've grown weary of run-of-the-mill furniture. So I have designed a DIY furniture recipe sure to inspire. It would be cruel of me to keep this recipe to myself, so I am sharing. Try making it. You will not be sorry. Far away wishes. 
Queenie. Cosmos Shower. I don't have Cosmos yet. Ooh! It's a red ship. I can't remember if I need him elsewhere first. Yeah. This ship is kind of sketchy looking. I shouldn't board without asking. I got a question. Does everyone use the red guide? Or did you just wing it and not care whether you got a fake or a real one of the art pieces? I have, for this whole game at least, used the guide, personally. If I like the fake piece, I'll still get it. Oh, Peppa there has her umbrella. Oh yeah, I put that bench there, and there's red. Sorry, coach. I'll talk to y'all in a second. I can. Hey, snouty. I'm finally done cleaning up. It was totes hard work. But I did it. Now I've got room to dance. Hold up. I just remembered. I called out to you because I have something to give you. So, here you go. Present. Just a chic little souvenir I brought from my last island. Check it. An outdoor table. I just had this feeling. Those might be your thing. And now they'll get to be Nocturne's thing, too. Alright, I'll leave it to you. Thanks. Hello, suspicious fox. Well, well. You from around here? Hi. The name's Red. I work in sales. And you are? I can. What a great name. Intelligent. Strong. I can already tell we're gonna be pals. No. Not pals. Family. Iken. It's a pleasure to meet you, Iken. Hey. Would you mind if I ran an idea by you? So, Nocturne wants art. And I've got art to sell. Might be something to this. But I couldn't sell to just anybody. I'd need someone I could trust. Completely. As if they were family. And since we're basically cousins, and because I know you've got an eye for quality, I want it to be you. Want to look at a few things? I've got both art and furniture. Plus, you'd get my cousin's discount. You in? I'm in or seems kind of sketchy. Well, I'm in, but it's definitely sketchy. I knew I could count on you, cousin. That is absolutely the right choice. I've got my boat anchored off the northern shore, and I'm almost done fixing all the leaks. Long story. Come have a look at what I'm selling. You won't regret it. Benji! Hey, I can. I'm all done moving. You were right. This island's neat. I'm real excited to live on Nocturne. I want to play with everybody. But first, alrighty, I gotta get unpacked. Oh no, he's got dirt floor. He's gonna tell me about bugs living in it. I guess this one will take another day. And then we'll have Goldie. All right, I never opened it. Outdoor cable. The oranges grew. Ah. Whoa. We got a lot of visitors today. Hey, yeah. Hey, you live on this island? Thought so. I'm from, like, the next island over. My name's Harvey. Glad to meet you, friend. You can call me Harv if you want. Wonder why no one ever does that. Is the they part just fun to say? Sorry. Got a bit sidetracked there. I came here for a reason. 
Give me a minute, and I'll remember why. Got it! I keep hearing about this island, and how much folks dig the scene here. So, I thought I'd check it out. I'm gonna start this far out artist collective, and I'm looking for ideas. So what's the deal? I'd heard that this place was deserted. Like, literally a deserted island. You the honcho that put this place at the head of the class? Wait, this old noodle just had a casserole of an idea. You should visit my island. Just hit the airport and tell him you want to go to Harv's Island. That's the name of my pad. Groovy, right? Anyway, nice jawing with you. I'm gonna stroll around and see what makes Nocturne tick. Thanks, Harv. Stop by and see Mira, Mira. Mira, you're making stuff. Oh, you got a bed now. What's up, Iken? Need me for something? What you doing? I'm making a wooden mini table. Pink cosmos for the cosmos shower and the wooden mini table. Oh, sleeping. Ooh -hoo! Ooh. I beg your pardon. I'm a bit of a night owl, don't you know? Drowsy in the daytime. Ah, but more importantly, why hello, Aiken. Welcome to the Nocturne Museum. Wow, all of them? Amber is formed from the sap of ancient trees that hardened over time. Because of its beauty, it has often been traded and used as jewelry throughout history. However, individual specimens may contain ancient plants or insects wrapped inside them. These are valuable resources for learning about ancient eras, such as when the dinosaurs roamed. And this is why they are sometimes displayed in certain... <clears throat> Exceptional museums. Like mine! Pachycephalosaurus was, to be blunt, not the brightest star in the dinosaur firmament. What I mean is, with its incredibly thick skull, some 10 inches thick in spots, it didn't have much room for... Well, for brains! Its brain was likely quite small, but at, at least it was extremely safe in its bony prison. Well, we missed Red's feel because I had it paused. Essentially telling him they don't sell anything finer. Than fine art. This is the serene painting. Looks like this one's the real one. Wow. This one is also real. Nice painting. Uh huh, uh huh. Discount. Closer look, please. This one's always real. So maybe the first time you come here, everything's real. Yep. This one's real, too. Let's see. I guess we'll get this one. True patron of the arts. Collecting artwork contributes to the cultural quality of Nocturne. And Nook Inc. will give miles to folks who prove themselves discerning connoisseurs. Shady Cellar. You won't regret it. Yeah, we'll see. Ladder. Ladder. It's far too inconvenient to get down there. We'll have to change this eventually. Have like a walkway or something. Probably on this side. 
I typically like to keep unique formations. So like this bone waterfall. Okay, DIY classes for customization. Well, hello there, I guess. Your home is much roomier. Yes. It's nice to have even a little extra space. Which brings us to the cost of your remodel. That'll be 198,000 bells. Hmm? Ah, uh, yes. Please make your payments using Nookstop's ABD feature as you've done before. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes. As you might have heard on today's broadcast, I am now offering a new workshop on customization. I think you'll find DIY even more fun when you master this skill. I do hope you take me up on this opportunity. Ready to dip your toes into the delightful waters of customization, I can? I'd love to. Yes, yes, that's the spirit. Let's get started. I believe a brief explanation about customization is in order. Honestly, it's incredibly simple. First, you need the item you want to customize, along with the required number of customization kits. Then, you'll customize your item at a workbench. The design or color will change in the blink of an eye. I do believe you'll find this easier to understand once you try it yourself. So let's get started. Your goal for the session is to make a wooden wardrobe and then do some customizing. This might be old news to you, but you could use your custom colored wooden wardrobe to put on your own fashion show. That freedom of expression is just the sort of thing we enjoy here on Nocturne. Hmm? Oop. You're gonna need the DIY recipe for it first. Let me just send that over now. There, all set. Balloon! Present! Iron Nuggets. I remember having a lot of trouble finding those at one point. I can't wait till I can get some pathing tools. I feel like I could clean things up a bit. Velvet stool. Okay, you've got your wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. I'll give you the customization kits you'll need in a moment. For now, please step up to the workbench. Hmm. Looks like you're ready now with your wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. First, I can, I'll give you some customization kits. Next, pull out your wooden wardrobe and try customizing it. Light wood, white wood, cherry, dark, black, green, blue, and pink. And it needs two kits, and he gave me 50? Let's do blue. Oh, he won't let me do it quick. Yes, yes, masterfully done. As you've just seen, customizing items is quite easy when you have customization kits and a workbench. You can take the extras from today as my gift to you. Use them in your future. Use them in your future customization projects. Hmm. As a graduate of my workshop, you'll now be able to buy any kits you need. From the shop, I almost choked on my own spit. Now for the most part, you can customize furniture or other items you've made as DIY projects. However, some of the mass market furniture items sold in the shop can also withstand some customization. For example, you might be able to change an item's fabric or add a custom design to it. 
figuring out what you can customize and how you can customize it can be a lot of fun. And this concludes my workshop on customization. I hope you enjoy putting on a fashion show in your home using your custom wooden wardrobe. Now take a break. I do believe you've earned it. Yay! I want to fly. I want to visit Harv's Island. Huh? Harv's Island? Where could... Oh, I know. You're talking about that island Harvey, like, lives on. Roger that, good buddy. Touchdown like clipping coupons in a pack of gum. We are parked and proud. Give a quack to wing back. Hey there, I can good to see you again so soon. I mean, I was on the same flight as you over here, so it's good to see you so soon again after seeing you. Wait, that was today that we talked, right? I didn't just sleep the whole time since then. Anyway, welcome to Harv's Island. Don't remember if I mentioned it before, but I run a photo studio here. It's called Photopia, because it's like paradise for picture taking, and it's free to all. So come use it any time. So, you dig in the Photopia vibe? Pretty groovy, right? It's like my home away from home, you know? Well, more like my home that is my home, really. But hey, since you're here, let's capture the moment. On film, huh? And if you've got any questions about the studio, I'm all ears. Well, mostly ears. Some nose, too. Tell me more, bud. Really? That's great. Okay, you've come to the right dog. Yes, sir. All right, there's basically three things to worry about with pictures. The set, models, and wardrobe. In other words, arrange your space, gather up the folks you want in the picture, and give them costumes. Once you've mastered those three, taking the actual pictures is easy. At least here in Photopia. You want to hear more details about sets, models, wardrobe, or, you know, actually taking pictures? Uh, I don't really need to. I'm good. You sure are, and don't let anybody tell you different. Aw, thanks, Harv. Well, feel free to use the studio anytime, bud. If you're all set, I'm going to go freshen up my air. Come grab me outside if you need anything. Brainwreck Mooncake is reporting Tango roller skating as go. You require assistance over. I'm ready to go home. You want to bust Bunsen burners and bounce back to Cherry Town? Yep. Roger. Let's pack snacks and make tracks. Okay, I want to do a little bit of our pile here. Grab some from this side. Okay. Two more? Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and do two more. Here we go. Yes, yes. Ladybugs are quite beloved, thanks to their tiny round shape and adorable spots. To that I say, bah! The fact of the matter is, some have stripes instead of spots, and some have no markings at all. No, I shall never understand why it is said that when a ladybug lands on you, you'll have good luck. I shall only have a fainting spell. The common bluebottle is a type of swallowtail butterfly, 
with a bright blue line running down its wings. They fly quite nimbly, it seems, and are thus quite difficult to catch. But seeing how they've been known to slurp nutrients from mud puddles, I simply can't imagine wanting to catch one myself. What awful breath. Many think the moth is a strictly a nocturnal creature. Alas, no. These frightful, fluttering beasts have been known to haunt the daylight and twilight hours, too. Thus, there is no time of day one might escape the moth trait. I dislike most of all those feathery antennae. The mere thought of them gives my feathers goosebumps. And I'm no goose. Sea bass is a name given to a variety of different species of saltwater fish. They are a varied bunch with some as small as four inches and some as staggeringly ginormous as eight feet. Sea bass is a bit pedestrian, though. Many species have better names, such as red banded perch or the delightfully whimsical dusky grouper or the potato cod will no one think of the pink mau mau the centipede's name means 100 legs because cente and pete but i tell you now that's a lie these ugly bugs can have as few as 15 pairs of legs or as many as 171. But because of how their bodies are segmented, they never have exactly 100. Woo! It's true. You know what else is true? Cinnabeads. Cinnabeads are carnivorous, aggressive, and venomous. And their bite is quite painful, too. Horrible things, I say. Dace are shiny little fish that enjoy freshwater streams with gravelly bottoms and plenty of sunlight. What a fishy paradise. Until the larger fish move in and begin eating the dace. Sadly, the shiny dace are easy for other fish to spot, which makes them a popular snack. However, this particular specimen here has no need to worry. There is a strict no eating your neighbor policy at this institution. Loaches are a large group of bottom feeding freshwater fish. Because there are so many species, it's difficult to generalize about them all. The one thing they have in common is perhaps their most unappealing trait, the name loach. Repellent, isn't it? They should have just called it the cockloach and been done with it. And eh, whoop! Loach. Loach. It just tastes terrible in the beak. Putrid pond skaters. They walk on water, you know. Which is most preposterous. It's a trick they perform by secreting oil onto the hairs of their feet. To which I say black. And one must wonder, what will they do next? Walk on air? Walk through walls? Perish the thought. The Darner Dragonfly is a very fast dragonfly, flying at speeds up to 40 miles per hour. They all have a distinctive green hue, but the males have blue underbellies, while females have yellow ones. It all sounds pleasant enough, no? Well, did you know their young eat tadpoles and even some small fish? Worse, these creepy carnivores will eat each other in a pinch. Grotesque does not describe it. Catfish don't have scales and are rather slimy. Believe it or not, this slime helps them breathe. Some species of catfish are nocturnal and they'll feed on almost anything. They use a suctioning action to pull in their food. 
Did I mention they can grow as large as you or I? Did you know that the repulsive Raja Brooks birdwing loves to luxuriate in hot springs water? It's true. Ooh. The males gather in groups to sip the moisture, while the females hide in jungle trees. And though they dress to impress in red and green, these fluttering fiends are not just stylish. They're also quite malicious. Their little larvae pack a poisonous punch that's supposed to protect them from predators. But I suspect more diabolical designs. I will give you all the stuff you just made me read. To be fair, I like reading Blather stuff. He's ridiculously dramatic. Nope, I am good for today. Oh, let's do the art rally. What a lovely room of blank pedestals. Sculpture exhibit. Baroque gallery. Well, if it ain't Baroque. Sorry. Only a little bit. Art from the East. I've collected all the art stamps. I want a case like this in Sims. We need a few more display cases. Hey, I finished it. Yay! There! It pleases me to report that the stamp rally for the art gallery is finished. You've done this owl proud. As I'm sure you saw, that gallery is currently quite empty. It is my sincere hope that we receive enough donations to completely fill out our museum. And without any further ado, here is the memento I promised you. I present to you your very own art plaque. Put the plaque with the other ones. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> Yay! Message bottle. To a friend I've yet to meet. I was cleaning and found this DIY recipe written on a piece of paper that I'd used as a bookmark. I didn't want to waste a good idea, so now I'm sharing this with you. It'd make me happy if you used it. Wishing you well, Aurora. Bamboo bench! Awesome. These are about to go out of season. I was hoping we'd get some bamboo. Serving cart? Oh. Coach. I haven't been able to find a single citrus longhorn beetle lately. But I need one. My bug collection isn't complete without a citrus longhorn beetle. Where could one be? I'll catch one for you. Huh? You sure? That, that'll be play of the year material. Thanks, I can double citrus longhorn what time of day oh it's all day okay we just gotta watch our stumps which means i need the seat Green balloon. Madra's plaid shirt. Ah. Hmm. 
there I changed my outfit. That's probably about it for today. I'm going to stop recording here. I'll add things in if anything happens. Bye-bye! Yes! I caught a stink bug. It lives up to its name. Yes! I caught a jewel beetle. It's a real gem. What are you? Gotcha. Yes! I caught a Rosalia Batesy Beetle. That's easier to do than say. Coach. I got it. The beetle. Hang on, Iken. Let me get a quick leg flex in. No, dude. I got... Alright. Bring it, Stubble. What do you got? I brought a bug. Huh? Really, Stubble? Yep. You said you wanted this. Score! It's a centrist longhorn beetle. Thanks! You really brought that victory home. Here's your trophy. It's a hat. You got what I needed, so I got you something you need. It's a knit hat. It's brand new. I never used it for strength training. Not even once. Ignore that sweat stain. Here we go. Smile Isle. Good deeds are their own rewards. But go ahead and have some Nook Miles, too. For filling or fulfilling requests from other island residents. Yes, yes. Kindly Standard. Guys, I just got saw something called the Forbidden Altar. From a bottle. I didn't read the letter because it said the same thing as a different one. But I now have an altar. We can start summoning things now. Ooh. Altery. Ooh. 